Just now, my mom says to me, what do you think I should wear to the family cookout? You know, still talking about the family cookout when you know, she's supposed to be planning on supposedly fighting my Aunt Mary and with the help of her, my mom, you know, with the help of the man, my mom met in the mental hospital. To me, it's all bullshit. But, you know, and I said, Mom, why are you talking to me about the family cookout? It's, it's, she says, I go, you know I'm not going. She goes, you're not invited. You know, I'm mourning for my aunt twice. I already mourned for these people in 2009. I'd ne I plan to never see them again. And I still am not going to see my cousins because they're too close-minded, you know? Should they, should there come a time where they're dying of cancer or something, then maybe they'll get a free pass too, but not, not, not when they're not and they, Marion has them all wrapped around her little finger. You're not invited. Oh, God, Mom, I wouldn't have gone even if, even if, you know, Aaron had made it until then. It's in, it's only, it's in like a couple of weeks. But I sure as fuck wouldn't go when she's not there. My mom shouldn't go either. My God, my cousin sent back my mom's card that my mom had just sent to my cousin's son. Like she'd been doing, with the lieutenant judge that she'd been doing, I told you guys, for, since he was born. She sent it back in spite. And gave bullshit. Well, your mom gave to Mary. My mom was yelling at me, and then she made some excuse. Well, I didn't want to cash this. It's just all bullshit. It's all designed to just shun my mom, and she's gonna go to the family cookout. I mean, but she wants to see my cousin who's coming in from another state. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. I live. Live for the day that the gig is up, jig is up, whatever jig is up with Marion. That's why I'm cooperating with this guy. God, I'd rather see a stranger have it than Marion have my mom's money, because I sure as fuck am not after my mom's money. I don't fucking care. I really don't. I mean, this house belongs, I mean, this, sh it should be put into a living trust for me. At the very least, that is what should happen. You know? I mean, I'm the sole heir, the, the, the only child of the, the men. I mean, I should, everything should go to me, but we all know that's not going to happen, and I don't think that way any okay? When I say I live for to see Marion on her knees, you know, figuratively speaking, see her forced to... I don't really live for that because I don't live for anything. I'm dead inside, you know. My other shelter friend who abandoned me and then we never saw each other again. I thought we were good friends. When I met before, I met the African-American woman, you know. Um. She was, she couldn't stand me, and I told her my story, and blah, blah, whatever. And she actually talked to lawyers online, because she has her own problems, where she's had to talk to lawyers. She made friends with lawyers online and stuff, and they, they read it, the woman read it, and she's like, sounds like the daughter's outgunned. Yes, outgunned. Everything points to me being the bad guy, and the things Marion's done bad, you know, all the things that Marion has done that are undeniably bad in the eyes of the law, have been glossed, that they're, they're hidden. They're not just glossed over, they're hidden. If my aunt was still alive and this all came out, she would be flabbergasted. She would be like, you know, and the cousins, pff, the rest of the family, they're not. It's all bullshit. Now I'm going to go for my 4.6 mile power walk, because that's what I do. <sighs> at least I know I'll look really good at my aunt's funeral, huh? And wake. I'm not going to whatever they have afterwards, little lunch or breakfast or brunch or dinner or whatever. I'm going to that. We had 161.6. 
this morning naked for ten times on the very accurate digital scale. I stepped on before eating or drinking a thing as usual. Sometimes the scale goes, I don't like when it will say like, it'll say 160.5 and then it'll go 161 point, you know, it'll go back but today 10 times consistent 161.6. That's definitely what I weigh because my mom weighs herself on that scale too and, and we're thin now, both of us. She's in a 14 and I'm in a 12. She can wear a small, t same, we wear the same tops. She can sometimes wear a small, medium. Same, same with me. We're mostly small, sometimes medium. They're stretchy tops. I already mourned my aunt and the rest of my family. Not Marion, just my aunt and the daughter. The, the, the ones I've been close to and I really was closest to my aunt. I mourned her back into and not ready. Planned to never see her again. And then she got cancer and everything changed. I used to cry all the time when I got back and Donald had acquiesced to his mother's wishes, allowed me to stay in their home for free and of course I'd go on welfare and whatnot, you know. So I wouldn't just be totally dependent on them. In California you get here in Massachusetts you don't but California you get G R automatically. You got G R 200, and I got 200 food stamps every month. And I'd be crying, and Donald would say, Are you crying because you're a loser, Laura? Yep, Donald, I'm crying because I'm a loser. But you're a bigger loser because you don't give a shit about anybody but yourself. <laughs> 